including in D side and uh, also some of the time in Italy and USA. Sinead and John Kerr. the arena tell you that they like it but that personality we're talking about really did transmit itself across the ice into the auditorium they did the stuff and did it very well indeed they certainly did I, I really felt that uh, we've been looking for a bit of innovation all evening and uh, that's the first time we've seen anything a little bit different in the rules it does say the original dance must reflect the character of the prescribed dance rhythms and these two did that perfectly from the costumes to the choreography to the way they really presented the whole dance out there on the ice and the slow-mos show just how in sync they were there with that side-by-side -side step sequence absolutely and this lift really really difficult and to change position there without putting the foot down makes it all the more difficult so really trying to get the levels up on the lifts all the time. Big deep changes of edge. Fantastic synchronization. Thought the spin was great. Just uh, one question, Mark. I don't know whether Sinead was a little nervous tonight, but didn't seem to be that sparkle at the beginning of the performance. We didn't really see that until towards the end. I don't know if she's feeling a little under the weather or, or what it is there. That's the sort of look we're used to seeing from her. And at the, the first minute or so, I thought perhaps a little nervous or just not comfortable. But uh, good to see her smiling now. Well done, guys. You've done a great job again. The technical score, please. Joan Slater 
to the right who uh, coaches them 27-24 their personal best 51 which they got in the Europeans it's going to be better than that no just underneath 51 yeah 51 is a personal best 51-32 they're in the lead and they'll hope to be in the lead at the end of this group and they are currently ranked first 